Hey, what's good, everybody? I hope everyone is doing perfect. Yes. Um, let me turn up my engine. Okay, let me turn it up. All right, so I hope everybody is doing great. Um, it's a beautiful Wednesday here in South Pony, in Ghana, Central Region of Ghana. And I decided to come your way with this conversation. So this is basically a conversation. I want us to have a conversation. But let me just go out there. Like I said, today is um, Wednesday 20. What is today's date? I don't know. I just have to check. But today is Wednesday. Today is real-time video. And I just closed from school and I had to drive to the beach. Because every time when I close from work and I feel like I have nothing much doing, I just go sit at the beach and just chill. And, okay, I just checked. Today is 26th. Wednesday, 26th. All right? But let me show you something going on outside there. Because um, I think this month ending, they're going to shut down fish farming or fishing in the sea, the Gulf of Guinea. Yes. Because the government of Ghana has done its own research. And they think that um, in August... Maybe those fingerlings or whatever will be coming up and the blah, blah, blah. They need, what they are saying is that they want their, the fish to grow before these uh, uh, fishermen will go out there and catch them. Like I said, today I want us to have a conversation. And before that, let me show you what is happening here. Where's my car key? Okay, so I'm in an area called Saltbourne. Saltbourne is a beach community. So today, I think, let me turn the camera and show you whatever is going on. Today we have fishing going on. So these people who are gathered here are uh, maybe fishermen, and they are also women who buy fish. And any, any other individual who would want to buy fish. I wish I could wait till they catch their fish and then I will show you the bountiful fish or catch that they would have. But I am at the seaside right now, so beautiful. Let me just go down there. Yes, so this is one of the places where we normally sit where we want to have fun on weekends. And there is another one on the other side, all right? So today is Wednesday 26th. Uh, these people are expecting the fishermen to catch fish so that they can buy and then maybe sell it to me because I like uh, chewing fish and uh, there's something called ethyl or kinky. I normally take that a lot. So let me get closer and see people. You see they have their pants here ready to buy fish. So let me go a little bit closer to show you that I am a lucky person because uh, I get to chill out by the seaside anytime I close from work and the breeze the breeze is so beautiful yes the breeze is so beautiful um, that is the other side of salt pond where we normally go and hang out the other side so there are two places one over there and there's one on the other side and the fishermen or the you know fishmongers are ready to buy whatever is gonna come out from here this one uh, make, make see you can buy them for 5 cities. 5 cities. But this one will be 30 cities. You can't give me 30 cities. Right now we are buying for Okay, not knowing they've already caught the fish, so they are just checking. But the fishes are very small. They are very small. I don't know. Maybe that is why the government don't want them to be fishing like regularly. They have to find a day or some month to, you know, not to fish so that the fish can grow mature and then they can go and catch them. So... I was talking to the brother, he said he bought fish, that fish for uh, 30 cities, but he could get it for like 5 CD somewhere. I don't know how real this guy is, but that is what he's saying. So, this is the conversation. Why do we have a lot of uh, pathways to migrate to Europe or the Americas? You know, with this um, skilled, skilled something, something they call skilled uh, lab, skilled something. I've forgotten the name, but I have to find out. I mean, when you are, if if you are skilled and African, 
there are opportunities for you to move to the west and live there with your with your family permanently and you know contribute to the development of these countries so we have germany coming in with uh opportunity card i think opportunity card where if you're skilled enough you would be given the opportunity to move there and work and live there and work um canada also has a lot of pathways uh recently they did the um caregiver pathway something if you're a caregiver in ghana or in africa wherever you could apply and then they will give you instant uh, permanent residence you know but growing up all, all that i'm saying is that it looks like the western world is calling on skilled african men and women to come and live in their country growing up we were made to believe we we're made to understand that it is only dumb people who are electricians it's only dumb people who are carpenters. It's only dumb people who are masons. It's only dumb people who are taxi drivers. It's only dumb people who are doing these skilled jobs. But it's only intelligent, brilliant, clever people who are engineers, who are um, doctors, nurses, teachers, policemen, and even 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 with the military. With the military, I remember it is when you complete a. Uh, uh, basic school and then you think you have nothing doing and then you want to enroll in it you know so what i'm saying is that growing up as an african child from ghana i was made to understand through the conversation through exemplary life through uh, discussions we were made to believe that it is only in unintelligent people on clever people who do these skilled jobs like a builder you know like a mason like i mentioned earlier on but now you've realized that from when i was born like 38 years ago this notion in our minds even prevents some parents from giving their children the opportunity to learn and develop a certain talent if they get to find out okay this child can play football this child can you know manufacture things by themselves they say oh no 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 i want you to go and be a doctor be a nurse be a government worker so over 30 years in my life i believe that a lot of african youth especially ghana are people who would rather want to attend a grammar school rather than a technical vocational school because when your mates when your peers find out that you're attending a vocational technical school to learn to be a cook or a, 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 a hairdresser or a, a beautician, you are seen as a dumb person. So a lot of parents, a lot of families wouldn't advise their children to go through these kind of schools. But fast forward, this has really affected Ghana in its development and Africa in its development. I don't know who created the system. I don't know who created the system, but this has rendered Ghana and other African countries a little bit useless when it comes to doing our own thing in terms of development. Why are we sending Chinese people? Why are we bringing people from the West to come and build Africa for us? Yes, go to our road. We don't build our road. Go to major government institutions like the airport it wasn't built by a Ghanaian there are a lot of structures that are in Ghana and in Africa somewhere that I would say were built by skilled foreigners from the West now fast forward now this same Europeans who one way or the other I wouldn't say it was them that tune our minds that it's only a dumb person who is supposed to be a carpenter. That person, those that Euro, now Europe is calling on Africans who are skilled enough to come into their country. Just because at a point within the 30 over years of my life, the government of Ghana realized that we are lacking when it comes to technical development, uh, technical and uh, 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 vocational 
skills, which will help develop Africa. So I remember uh, three to four years ago, the government of Ghana uh, introduced, you know, when you complete senior high school or when you complete junior high school and then you're, you know, filling your uh, um, um, senior high school placement uh, form, there are these six schools that you have to pick. And the government decided to make one of them um, um, a vocational. So it's, it's, it's compulsory for you to pick uh, a vocational or technical school, which is one of the best things that I have seen because a lot of kids who complete basic school because they because because the grading system and the grade tells us that that person is dumb because he didn't get 100 percent 80 percent 90 percent that person is either made to sit at home or go and learn hairdressing carpentry masonry because they didn't pass their exams now the same people who were lucky to have seen the truth to have seen the light to have gone through these vocational and technical institutions and now they are skilled with how to build as an African. Now these people are being called, are being given opportunity in the West to go and live there and work. And now what is the mindset of these European people? Now they are giving African people who are skilled enough to use their head, to use their hand, to build Africa, to rather come to Europe to the to 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 americas to help them but i feel like this is like another definition of slavery i wouldn't say that but i remember in slavery reading books they come and pick out strong people took them there and they built whatever they have there now it's a different vibe altogether they've realized that okay africans you seem not to acknowledge people with skills you seem not to acknowledge people with a uh, 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 vocational skills technical skills so if that is the case, if you want people to be nurses, go ahead, be a nurse, be a teacher, be a doctor, be an engineer, whatever. We are coming to take your carpenters, your your masons, your builders, your electricians to our country to go help develop. This is something that clicked my mind and I'm like, I want to have a conversation with my followers. Is it that Africans are still not, we haven't still not come to understand that the world is developing and we need these technical and vocational skilled people in this country now it will get to a time all of the skilled people will be given opportunity to move out like canada is doing like germany is doing like uk is doing now uk is giving opportunity for um caregiver nurses or whatever and now when you go to the statistics in the Ghana health service, uh, nursing, whatever thing, you realize that the majority of nurses are running away from the country. Yes, they are going. They've been given opportunity to go and live in UK, Canada, Australia, New Zealand. Name them to take care of the older people who are in that country. So it will get to a time all the skilled people in Africa will, will leave. Yes. And you see, the thing is, our African leaders are always going to these people for help. And there are uh, um, conditions as to some of the things that Africans must do. And it's really disturbing that what is happening now can be, I wouldn't say it's a conspiracy theory or anything. I don't know. But let's, let's have a conversation. But do you think the Western world, Europe, is practically bringing every skilled African to their country. Yes, they may look at it like, oh, there are no jobs in Canada. There are no jobs in Europe. There are no jobs in Germany. There are no jobs in here. But there are still platforms and pathways for African intelligent skilled people to be migrated. I think I'm done for the day. I've enjoyed myself at the beach. I think there wasn't a, a lot of fish because some of them are going away with their uh, containers because they didn't get fish. All right? Because there wasn't much. So, um, so fast forward, I think it's about time. Hey, doggy, have a problem with me? Hey, <laughs> how are you doing? Yeah, this is a straight dog just walking around. But I belong to someone. If you hit it right now, the winner will come after you. All right, so 
I think it's about time that Africans should. But the thing is that our leaders, and look at what is happening in, in Kenya. Look at what is happening in Kenya. You're about to pass a bill that is going to increase tax and a lot of you know, stuff like that, a list of things. And the people are saying that, Ruto, chill, relax, take it easy. Ruto and his people, parliamentarians, are saying no. Now look at what is happening. Killings all over. Tear gassing people all over. What is happening in Africa? Join the conversation. Are Africans moving because we are not ready to build our own Africa due to lack of a system that takes care of the common African man or child or woman? Join the conversation. Thank you very much for checking me out.